Are you a coffee person or a tea person? I'm actually a tea person, and if you are too, stick around so you can learn how to make Indian chai masala tea. Now, for those of you who don't know what Indian chai masala tea is, chai is Hindi for tea, and masala is means spice. So we're gonna be making a wonderful spiced Indian tea with a little bit of a twist. So traditionally, Indian chai masala tea is made with black tea, um, an array of warm spices like cinnamon, clove, peppercorn, cardamom, um, and also cow's milk and uh, sugar or honey. But today I'm gonna be changing the recipe and sort of accommodating to what I like. So I am a caffeine-free person. So this recipe is caffeine-free and also it's plant-based. Now, instead of using cow's milk, I'm gonna be using coconut milk. And this is gonna make our chai masala tea super frothy and just add this deliciousness, okay? Um, and also, instead of white sugar or honey, I'm gonna be using coconut blossom nectar, which is a great alternative to white sugar. Okay, additionally, the spices we're gonna be using are gonna be clove, peppercorn, um, cinnamon, um, cardamom, and what's the last one? Yes, grated ginger, freshly grated ginger. But most importantly, we're gonna be omitting the black tea. Okay, so for those of you caffeine-free people out there, this Indian chai masala tea is for you. So let's get into the video. So these are the beautiful gems that we're gonna be using for our Indian chai masala tea. Starting with these cinnamon sticks, we're gonna be using 10 grams of cinnamon sticks, 10 grams of green cardamom pods. We're doing two grams of whole cloves, five grams of peppercorns. So we're gonna dry roast all of our spices for about 10 to 15 minutes on low heat. So you just wanna mix it a couple times during the 10 to 15 minutes of roasting time, just to make sure that they get roasted on either side. Once you can smell the aroma of the spices, that's how you know that your spices are ready. So it's been about 12 minutes and I've roasted these beautiful spices. My apartment is smelling so, so delicious, kind of like Christmas is wafting through the air, except it's springtime. <laughs> so we're gonna place our spices into the mortar and remember that we're gonna coarsely um, grind these spices. I'm not using like a blender or a a mixer jar for this. I want the spices to be ground kind of in a chunky manner. So you're gonna use your pestle here and you're just going to bang on these spices until you get a consistency. So it took me about five minutes to get this consistency. And this is exactly what we want. You can see that everything is broken down but still chunky. So the beauty about making this fresh is that once your spices are done and crushed, you can just store it in a cute little jar. And whenever you feel like having your chai masala tea, you can just reach for this perfection. To a saucepan, we're gonna be adding two cups of filtered water, a quarter to half a teaspoon of the masala spice mix. I'm gonna be using half a teaspoon because I like it very spicy. Next, I'm gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of grated ginger. Now this is grated ginger with the skin on. Now all we're gonna do is bring this to a boil and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Set your alarm. So after 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. You can see that the color is much darker and the liquid has obviously reduced just a little bit. So because of all the hard little spices in the tea, we're just gonna strain it. So it's nice and smooth. I'm placing the tea back into the pot. Up next, we're gonna be adding two cups of coconut milk. Oh yes. So for the coconut milk, I'm actually using a canned coconut milk from Native Forest, organic coconut milk light, um, and it's unsweetened. You just wanna give this a quick whisk and you wanna heat this up for about one to two minutes just until the milk is nice and hot. So what we're gonna do now is pour the mixture into a blender. So traditionally, white sugar or honey is used to sweeten chai masala tea, but today I'm gonna to be using coconut sugar. This is crystallized coconut flour nectar, and it is a healthy alternative. So I'm gonna be adding in two tablespoons of this goodness. Of course, you can always adjust to your preference. So all we're gonna do now is blend for a few seconds until nice and frothy. 
There you have it, Indian chai masala tea, caffeine free and plant-based. So I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. So I'm gonna try the tea for you. Um, in all honesty, the whole blender thing is not very, it's sort of Western, like it's kind of like, you know, a Starbucks latte kind of thing. Um, but uh, I really wanted to use a plant-based milk that, was, that would give that frothiness and you can achieve that by placing it in the blender. So that's why that happened. But um, okay, let's try it. Mm. Warm spices, mm. subtly sweet, gingery, coconutty, cinnamony, <laughs> and just really good. So I know it's sort of a Western thing, but if you wanted to, you could actually add vanilla to this. And I'm usually a purist when it comes to Indian recipes, but for this one, hey, I decided, you know, to just sort of accommodate to certain preferences like caffeine free and sort of all of that jazz. So if you guys want, wanted to, you could add pure vanilla extract in here and I think it would taste really good. So this is sort of a cross between a Starbucks chai latte and then a chai masala tea. Indian chai masala tea is kind of more watery than a latte, right? This one is a little more thicker than I would say a chai masala tea. Did I confuse you? I hope not. Okay, Star Seeds, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time for the next video. Mwah.